All right, year 11. So we're going to... Hands down, eyes up. Hands down, eyes up. So we're going to look at an example of a uh, discrete probability distribution. And it's going to be a pretty crazy one for a set of dice. So a singular die. So if I was to roll a singular die, I have X representing my score, and I have the probability that X equals whatever that score is. So if I'm filling at this table, and I want you to join me when I'm filling at this table, when I'm filling at this table, how many scores should I have on a regular sided dice? Six. And what are those scores? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And what I want you to do is to fill in the probability of each of those occurring. Be writing, there shouldn't be anyone on their laptops. So, what's the probability of rolling a one? Thanks, Zay. Uh, yep, two. Three, Julian. Four, Ethan. Good, five. Six. And how do I know it's a probability distribution? Because if I add all those up, they should equal one. And we've been going through that as, as the lesson has unfolded. But now at the point where I'm saying, well, what's the expected value? If I was to roll a dice, what's the expected score that I'll be making? So over, let's say I'm starting a gambling ring at some pats. Yep, it would be very profitable. I'm starting a gambling ring. And I want to do a just money back thing. So if, if one dollar gets you two dollars, where should I set the line? You must be over or under what? Eighteen. Eighteen. So you get to roll one dice, and if you're less than eighteen, I get your money. Okay. Could <laughs> be like a big dice. Elijah's gambling syndicate's not very profitable, very well liked. What does that say? You just went up and looked. What does that say? Sir? Expected value. Thank you. 50%. 50%. So I want to get about half the scores below and half the scores above. So I'm looking for a measure of centre. The expected value. Anyone know what we call that? Taylor Swift sings a song about it. Mean. Mean. Very good. So another name for that is our mean. Now if we look at our formula sheet at some point, it'll probably give an, if you want a, an exciting read, go through the textbook and try and do this one on your own. But it gives you this formula, XIPI. Does anyone know what that might mean? Hey, what's that squiggly line? Good question. What's this squiggly line mean? Three. Sum of. What do you think X stands for? What do you think P stands for? Is it Pro meant to be like a, a squiggly line? Or yes, it is. That's 100% supposed to be a squiggly line. It looks exactly like it should like. Hmm? And X is the? Value or the score. Okay, so I've got the sum of the value multiplied by the score. So how should this look? What's I? It's just the number, so like we're going to go from 1 to 6 here. Cool, I'll just leave that out, we don't need to worry about that, I don't want to confuse you. So if I wanted to find my expected value here, and we signify that with EX, my expected value needs to equal the sum of my score multiplied by my probability. So what's my first score? 1, so it's 1 times 1 out of 6. What's my second score? What's the probability of it occurring? One on, six. One on six. My third score is? What's the probability of it occurring? And we're going to repeat that process. I'm not going to keep asking the same question. We repeat that process through... I'm a math teacher, not an art teacher. 
A bit like an E. Yeah, it's true. Capital E. So we then have to add these all up. So find out what they equal and add them all up. Chocolate for anyone who can do it in less than five seconds. The first one is one over, one. One over six. Oh, well, chocolate for me, 21 over six. Prove me right. So one on six plus two on six plus three on six plus four on six plus five on six plus six on six. Cool. Three, six, ten plus eleven, twenty-one over six. You need to know how to do that because we know this example already. What did Ethan say I should do? Right at the start. I need to split it. So where should I split it in this example? Where do I want to go between? Between three and four. What's half of between three and four? Three point five. What's three point five over six? Twenty-one. Cool. Yeah, so the seven variable, it'll change. If the probability's not the same, it'll change. I've given you a nice easy one here where it's all the same probability all the way through, but you might have something like pulling a card out of a deck, which isn't gonna have equal probability. Sweet, or your head's exempt. So the point I'm trying to make, how do we calculate, how do we calculate an expected value? Multiply the scores by their probability, and then we do what with that? Add them all up with that squiggly line. Sweet. I'll talk about variance and that sort of stuff soon, but I don't want to confuse you too much. So we'll leave that there for now. Yeah.